The Plains Rally this weekend celebrated its 50th anniversary and they couldn't have hoped for nicer weather for the celebrations, although with the sunshine came the dust and lots of it. The event played host, as always, to the BTRDA Rally Series and the Welsh Rally Championship, both providing spectacle and entertainment for the fans throughout. Leading at the end of the morning stages, though, would be Tom Cave, not registering for either championship on this one-off outing outside of his BRC campaign. Julian Reynolds, however, did register for the BTRDA Series and after three stages would be leading the way there. 11 seconds above second place Luke Francis, second in the BTRDA Series but leading the way in the Welsh Championship contenders at the midway point in the event. That would leave Charlie Payne and Stephen Petch fighting it out below them for the final step on the BTRDA podium. Advantage Payne at this halfway point. In the BTRDA Silver Star, it will be Boyd Kershaw taking the early advantage. Just three seconds ahead of John Rowlands, the only one of the Rowlands brothers still going after Yeon retired in stage three. Roland having a lead over Phil Burton with a slightly bigger 17 seconds of a gap there. In the 1400s, it will be Jordan Hone taking the early charge. James Williams just 11 seconds back in second place. So things close there too, with Chris Powell another three seconds back for third place. And it's a great start for Emily Rietelik as she leads the way in rally first with a 13 second advantage. And indeed, that's how it would stay into the afternoon stages, taking her first victory by 23 seconds. It will be all changed in the 1400s through the afternoon stages though, with Chris Powell slipping back a little and down to second place, meaning it will be the victory for James Williams, his first 1400 victory and probably not his last. The Silver Star would take a bit of a mix-up with Phil Burton dropping out of third place, quite literally dropping, his rally ending down a bank, but there will be no change at the top with John Rowland still finishing three seconds back from day-long leader Boyd Kershaw. And at the top of the overall results, the only thing to change would be that final step on the BTRDA podium, with Stephen Petch getting that much needed third place. Luke Francis holding his own, taking second place on the BTRDA podium. And of course, the Welsh Championship victory for him at this round. But the top step on that BTRDA podium this weekend would go to Julian Reynolds, joining the series for selected outings this season with a view to a full campaign in 2017 already making his mark and with the championship battles behind him sorted event victory this weekend would go to Tom Cave local man local victory you can catch coverage of the BTRDA championship this Friday on Motors TV and online and coverage of the Welsh championship on special stage extra on Wednesday the 25th of May